Johnny King, the Hall of Fame Legend Series. We're at Daryl Starbird's 14th Annual Induction Ceremonies. We're in Oklahoma at the National Rod and Custom Hall of Fame and Museum. And uh, this man, I don't really need to give an introduction to him, but I will because he's a legend in his own way. And all I do is mention his name, and you know immediately who I'm talking about. He's been responsible for more street rods put on the on the streets of the United States probably in the last 60 years than, than many people could ever count. Originally from California, now living in the Phoenix area. You, you can only say one word, and, and you get his name, and you know exactly who I'm talking about. I'll just say Magoo. And that sort of locks it down. <laughs> Dick Magoo. Dick, thanks for being here this morning. Thank you. I'm really uh, tickled to be here, John. It's really neat. Dick, you know, your history is so, so long and so varied. When did you actually start building street rods? Well, when I really first started building street rods, believe it or not, it was about 1944. And that's a couple of years ago. And I was building them for myself. And that's how all this stuff got started. In those days, you had to do everything yourself. There was no such thing as buying anything. Everything was from the ground up. Well, all the roadsters and cars that you had screwed together through all those years and putting some really, really quality work into them. Are there any of them that really gave you a hard time? Well, you got to remember, we were the first one to put a Ferrari in a 32. That's one I was going to ask you about. That was the Ducari, right? That was the Ducari. And the customer came for me. He owned a Ferrari business. He came to me and says, I want you to put a Ferrari engine in a 32. And I says, a Ferrari engine? He says, yeah. And he says, he told me, he says, I want you to go to Hollywood and pick up the motor. They got one down there I already bought. And he says, I want a 32 Rosa with a Ferrari in it. And I go, okay. And the biggest thing is that you had to stretch it and everything. And then you had to adapt an American four-speed transmission to the Ferrari, which took a lot of machining and time and he had to have the ferrari wheels on it on his 32 but that car was one of the best running cars ever had who was the ducari for uh brian and it was, he owned a ferrari dealership in, in the bay area and uh, he had it for several years and he sold it to a guy by the name of uh eddie up there in the bay area well you had a lot of work to put in that to get to that v12 stuff in the in the deuce how long did it take you to do that a lot of engineering it uh, i guess it took us a pretty good part of a year to do it 